What's going on guys? I'm glad you're here at Seaver Shoots back with another video. I'm super excited to talk about these super awesome products. But first, I want you to head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. If you like my content here, you will love my Instagram content because it's like my content here, except it's up to date and it's way more often. I try to post a video at least once a month. If I can, I do two a month, but over on my Instagram, I'm posting way more often. If you want more up to date views on the things that I'm doing, on the things that I'm using, on the things that I'm trying and carrying, Instagram is where you're gonna see it first. Then eventually you will see a YouTube video here about those products. So again, if you like my content here, you're gonna really enjoy my content over on Instagram. I've got about 300 more subscribers here than I do followers there. And if some of you just aren't social media people, I get that, that's cool, respect, no worries. But if you are a social media person and you like my channel, you will really enjoy my Instagram. Head on over. I will link it down in the description. My handle is at Seaver Shoots. Let's get into these products. They're really cool, really innovative. You've probably heard of them before, but maybe you've never looked into them. And they are from a company called Stopbox. So this simple, unassuming thing is the Stopbox. This is what they started with. Super cool, super innovative, quick access safe that involves no electronics. And I appreciate that a lot. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but it's really simple. You have a five finger combination here. You usually do this on a table because you got to press down in order to get it to open, but I'll do my best here. So you hit your five finger combination, you open it up and there's your firearm ready to go. This box is as fast as you are. So the more practice, obviously, the faster you'll get at accessing it. Some of the features that are really cool about this, you just saw the inside. There is foam on both sides that hug your firearm. So I can swing this guy all around and my XL isn't going anywhere. That makes the firearm more safe if you decide to keep it in here loaded, which you totally can. Uh, but it also makes it so that the draw from the box is consistent. The gun will be in the same place every time that you open the box because that foam is hugging it into place. Another really cool feature is this little uh, locking mechanism here. You could put some kind of loop in here and then hook this guy almost like a bike lock to something inside your car. So scenario, you're going out for a night on the town. You're going to go get cultured and see a show of some kind of musical, or go to the theater, whatever. Uh, but you know they're going to have metal detectors and you're not going to be able to get your gun in there, which sucks. And I agree with you, that's dumb. And we should be able to protect ourselves in those places. Either way, you got to leave your firearm in your car. Do not leave it loose in there. Even if your car doors are locked, it's not hard to break into a car. These days, people are really good at it. So you should definitely have your firearm locked up safe somewhere. This would do the job. This would deter a lot of people, right? Most guys are smash and grab. So if they get in there, they don't even know what's in this thing. They're gonna tug at it, it's not gonna come. They're gonna grab what they can and get out of there. So this is a great option for that. Some other scenarios that I'll talk about where I like to use it. One is in the kitchen. If I'm cooking, want hands free, don't feel like having my gun on my waist, which isn't often, I usually like to have it on me. But in that situation, put it in here, slap it on the island in the center of the kitchen, and then it's always within reach for me. No issues, super quick to get to. I don't have to worry about kids messing with it, which is one of the best things about this. It just keeps people from messing with things they shouldn't be messing with. Other scenario, sitting on the couch with the family, cuddling with the wife, if you're married, your wife has probably told you at some point your gun is uncomfortable to cuddle with, especially if it's up in your business. So pull it off, stick it in this guy, put it a couple feet away. It's still within reach, very quickly accessible, just as quick as from your waist, honestly, in a lot of cases. Not that you'd need to get to it that quickly in your house, but you might. And so this guy sits close by and it doesn't have to be strapped to your waist, which is nice. Now, the place where it's most realistic for most people to use this is on their bedside table. And I definitely use it there as well. So this guy will just sit on my bedside table. My gun goes in there instead of my gun just sitting on the bedside table. And then if I need to get to it, when I hear a bump in the night, I can very easily find the buttons with my fingers, right? It's very haptic feedbacky. Find the buttons, 
slap that box open and you're good to go, easy peasy. If you've got kids, you understand what I'm about to talk about, and that's that sometimes your children turn into zombies in the middle of the night, and they come into your room and they don't say anything. They just watch you sleep for a little bit and maybe mess with the stuff that's on your bedside table. This will keep them from messing with things they shouldn't be messing with, and it will leave your firearm super accessible to you, and that is really, really awesome. So, love that. their next product is just as useful in my opinion because my first thought when I saw the stop box was how can they do that but with a long gun and I didn't really think of this at the time didn't think too hard because I assumed they'd be figuring it out but they came up with the chamber lock and the chamber lock is just like the stop box but it fits inside your chamber so you'll notice you've got the five fingers right here same idea I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna press the buttons and I'm gonna pull it out You'll see the mechanism right here. It obstructs the chamber from having the bolt go home, stick it back in there, give it a little pat, and it's back in place again. So deploying your weapon is as simple as pull this guy out, slap your bolt release, and you're good to go. And that is so cool, in my opinion. What I love about this is that I can leave this guy hanging out in my closet at night while I'm home, home during the day and I don't have to worry about anybody getting into it and doing something stupid that they shouldn't do. I am the only one who can access and use my firearm. Now, this is not a deterrent from people stealing it from you. But if they take it, Stopbox has mentioned that they're going to have to use some really heavy duty methods to get it out and it'll probably render the weapon useless, which is good. That's what you should be thinking about. You should be thinking about people not being able to use this either A against you or B against other people. And this guy keeps prying hands out of there, but it allows you to leave this close by and accessible. So most scenarios, in my opinion, when it comes to home defense, are going to involve somebody trying to kick down a door or break through a window. You're going to hear them, likely. So you've got time, and that's what I like about the stop box and the chamber lock. You've got time to get to your weapons and make them ready to go, not that it takes much. And the only thing that uh, is slowing you down is you and your practice with these things. So this is where I'll talk about, I think these are far superior to any electronic quick access safes that are out there. The reason is because when you use an electronic safe, whether it's swiping a card or using your fingerprint or whatever it is, hitting a combination especially, you have to wait for some kind of mechanical thing to develop to open the door. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to just pop it off. And the cool thing about that is another person would not be able to do that. Just me. You know, I don't have to wait for anything. It's very quick and boom, I'm, I'm ready to go. This is a distinct advantage over other things. And I, in my opinion, Stopbox has knocked this out of the park. They have the market cornered when it comes to quick access safes. And I'm excited to see what they do next. They have already come out with one more chamber lock and that one is for shotguns, for people who like shotguns for home defense. They are very popular for that, although I think that the gun community is by and large getting away from that. Either way, they've come out with it, which means they're probably working on other stuff as well, and I'm excited to see it. Guys, if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. As I talked about already and probably way too extensively, head over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there as well. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section why, and I'll try to make my videos better for you. And as always, I will catch you later.